Hi everyone, my name is Julie Madlin. I'm the city historian for Ogdensburg, and I'm also a social studies teacher at Hubleton. I've been teaching 30 years. Most of that has been seventh and eighth grade social studies. So I wanted to make some resources for you guys uh, that would allow you to teach local history in your classroom. And I've listed some reasons why that's important. Students really need to know where they come from, uh, local history can help students understand their place in larger world events, and they can learn to appreciate their community. So I think these are all important reasons to um, begin teaching local history in the classroom. So I've got a number of things here that you could use these resources for. I won't read through them all. You can see them uh, pretty easily there. Um, the one on the bottom I just want to uh, point out to you that this is a free field trip. There are walking tour signs up around the city um, and they're up from May to late October. Each sign has a QR code. So if you bring your phone along, um, they are linked to the videos. You can also print out the scripts, which are gonna be below here. I'll show you those and just do your own little tour. Um, so those signs should be up through the end of October. So there are three, um, main streets that I chose to do for the walking tour. Um, if you don't choose to do the walking tour, that's fine. All of the videos are on my YouTube channel and I have a link for you. Each video runs about three to four minutes. So the first um, tour is the strolling down State Street. Um, if you're at OFA, it's, uh, your, it's basically your backyard. And that, that's the playlist there. You can just click on the playlist. It should take you to uh, the YouTube. And there's also cruising down Caroline Street and wandering down Washington Street. So each of those has, um, has the signs if you want to do it that way. So uh, for each of these, I have a reading passage, which is basically the script for the video. I have the short video and I have an Ed Puzzle video with questions. There's also a close worksheet that's online. And at the end of each uh, street tour, there's a scavenger hunt for students to complete. And I've also given you, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the answer key for that as well. So I'll show you what a sample one would look like. This one is for the post office. And you could read these with students or have them read them. And then here's the link for your Ed Puzzle video. <clears throat> I've embedded questions there for you, but you can always edit those if you want. And there's a wiser worksheet, which is a close activity. I'm just gonna click on that for a minute in case you're not familiar with wiser worksheets. They are online. So if you had to go remote or you had a student who was in quarantine, this might be something that you would want to um, assign to them or your whole class could do it. <clears throat> you probably could print these out as well, although I haven't tried doing that. And it should be coming up here now. So if you scroll down, you'll see that it's a closed sheet. There are some blanks there. And at the bottom are the words that go in the blanks and the kids just drag them up to where they think that they go. So that's with each one of these um, videos. And if I can scroll down here, I'll show you the sca scavenger hunt. So you'll see there's a bunch of these readings. You could even just print out the readings if you wanted to. And if you're teaching English, you might want them to annotate. If you're teaching art, this is a great way to help them learn architecture. There's some really great architecture in Ogdensburg and some really cool opportunities for students to draw. I promise there is an end to this. Almost done. And here's the answer key for the scavenger hunt, but below that is the blank one. You can even play bingo with this if you wanted to. So there is a scavenger hunt for each one of these. And it's kind of fun when you're taking kids on the tour to have them filling in the scavenger hunt. It keeps them busy while you're um, doing the tour. So they're not getting into trouble. This is just the blank one for you. So um, if there's anything else that you think that would be valuable, or if you come up with some other resources that you think are great and 
you want to tell me about them, that would be awesome too. Um, I'm hoping these are going to be useful for you and you'll be able to get outside with your kids. If not, feel free to use any of the digital um, resources here. And I wish you good luck. And I'm so happy that some of you will be using these and we can get our kids learning a little bit more about their community. Thank you.